everyone this is yuvika singh today we are going to talk about the universe and i'm really excited um but why hmm let's see empty space is not nothing what does it mean let's start from the very beginning there was a surety of one thing about the expansion of universe in the early 1990s that either the universe has so much energy density that it can stop its expansion and recollapse or the universe has so little energy density that it will never stop expanding but as the time passes due to gravity the expansion will also slow down but unfortunately the slow down process has never been observed After decades of planning and research, Hubble Space Telescope was launched on April 24, 1990. And from that time, it is giving the world a deeper understanding of how the universe works, and also it has been dazzling the world with images of space. But in 1998, its observations of very distant supernovae showed that since the universe's birth 15 billion years ago, There is a change in the rate of expansion. A long time ago, universe was actually expanding more slowly than it is today. So it simply means that due to gravity, the expansion of universe has not been slowing down, but as the time passes, it has been accelerating from the very beginning of the universe to today. Okay, so it wasn't expected, but yeah, it is true. Nobody knows how to explain it, but something was causing this expansion. After knowing all these informations, theorists came up with three sorts of explanations, but they are not sure about it. Maybe there was some strange or different kind of energy fluid or mysterious force that filled space, or maybe it was because of cosmological constant. which is nothing but the energy density of space or vacuum energy which was in einstein's theory of gravity or maybe einstein's theory of gravity has some loopholes and a new theory could include some strange kind of field or mysterious force that creates this cosmic acceleration and this mysterious force which is creating this cosmic acceleration is named as dark energy by the theorists and this dark energy is accelerating the rate of expansion of our universe over time rather than to slow down but theorists still don't know what the correct explanation is today dark energy is around 68.3% dark matter is around 27% and the rest on our earth all normal matter adds up to less than 5% of the universe after exploring and knowing all informations regarding dark energy until now one explanation is that dark energy is a property of space and as i said earlier that empty space is not nothing albert einstein was the first person who realized it space has amazing properties some of them was discovered by albert einstein it is possible for more space to come into existence is the first property that he discovered second prediction contains cosmological constant which is nothing but the energy density of space or vacuum energy as i said earlier it is present in einstein's theory of gravity and cosmological constant implies that empty space can possess its own energy this energy would not be diluted as space expands because this energy is a property of space itself more of this energy of space would appear as more space comes into existence and because of this energy the rate of expansion of universe will accelerate quantum theory of matter states that empty space is actually full of temporary virtual particles that continually form and then disappear The another explanation for how space acquires energy comes from this theory but the answer came out wrong by a lot when physicists tried to calculate how much energy this would give empty space and the mystery continues
Maybe dark energy is a new kind of dynamical energy field or field that fills space. And its effect on the expansion of the universe is opposite to that matter and normal energy. Quintessence is the name given by some theorists to this and it is nothing but a hypothetical form of dark energy postulated as an explanation of the observation of an accelerating rate of expansion of the universe. This is another explanation for dark energy but we still don't know what it is or why it exists. Last possibility is that Einstein's theory of gravity is not correct. And this will not only affect the expansion of the universe but it will also affect the way that normal matter in galaxies and clusters of galaxies behave. So, if a new theory is needed, what kind of theory it would be? And how can a new theory give us the different prediction for the universe that we need? And also describes the motion of the bodies in the solar system, as Einstein's theory is known to do. So, the mystery still continues. Thank <laughs> you.